It gets a five out of five home run all day. Pickle milkshake. Holy crap, this is good. We are now gonna try the shinkle del del del. del. <laughs> All right, what is up guys? We are here at Disney World's Epcot for the 2023 Food and Wine Fest. This fest is actually said to be a food aficionado's paradise. They have craft beers, good wine, amazing food, amazing desserts. So come hang with us and let's travel around the world. So our first stop is in Mexico. We are trying the two new items that they have. The first one is the tostada de carnitas. This has braised pork, on a fried corn tortilla with black beans, avocado mousse, queso fresco, and chives. So this was actually listed as one of the top recommendations for the Mexico booth, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay, they were not lying. Holy crap, this is good. The beef so far is super tender. The tostada, I was expecting it to start being a little soggy just because there's a lot of like juice going on. This one is really good. I think Carson's gonna like it too. This is a five out of five, real good. Five out of five. This might even be a home run. This what? is, yeah, this is good. Kicking, kicking it off like strong. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go ahead and review the Trouble in Paradise Margarita. What it has is legal mezcal, watermelon liqueur, rose wine, lime juice, and agave with the chili lime powder rim. So the only thing that's gonna throw me off on this drink is the chili lime powder. I'm just really not a fan of chili lime powder, but this drink looks super cool. So cheers, let's see how it tastes. Angela's gonna have to give you guys a review on this one because I'm not really a fan of that like chili pie. It kind of has like a smokiness to it. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna probably, for me personally, I'm not even getting the watermelon taste out of this. Let me try it again. The chili powder is not my, it's throwing it off me. For me personally, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. That's all right. But if you like the chili powder flavoring and you like chili powder candies, You'll probably like this, but let's see what Angela thinks. Hopefully she can give you a better review on it. Carson can't take the heat, so he called me in. <laughs> I see what you mean. It has like a smokiness. I just, I think you have PTSD, honestly, because he's had some smoked drinks that were awful. It's like, I think you're having flashbacks and that's why you're not liking it. It's not it's so like bad. That, it's like that smoked uh, mark from HHN. Yeah, that was awful. Disgusting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is my favorite. I would what probably. Are you I might even give it a two. I'd say like a two and a half. Two and a half. Two, two and a half. I'll agree with that. Yeah. Eh, all right, that's alright. So don't that's recommend. Right. But if you're about smoke, like that, like smoky flavor, some people are. I wouldn't recommend. For us, I think we just like like the light, refreshing, like drinks. You know. I don't and... think people like it. <laughs> well, don't let, recommend. Let us know. Let us know if you do try it and if this is your thing. But it's it's a that's alright for us. So here in China, we actually stopped at the China booth to try the crispy duck bao bun with, I think it's poison sauce, could be wrong. But all I can tell you guys is if I look like I got wet by a hose, you know that humidity in July, it's tough. But let's give this thing a try. I was actually super stoked to try this. And I think the Disney food blog actually posted that this was one of the top things at the fest too. So let's see, it is pretty good. I hope Donald doesn't see that we're eating this either. It's different, I've never had anything like this. It's kind of like a, you get the duck and the bao bun. I've never had anything like it, but it is good. I think the sauce, that hosen sauce, that makes it super fire. I can't explain it, and the bao is bao. So I would probably give this a four out of five, still a real good. I would recommend come and get this, but I wouldn't say it's the top. That tostada we had in Mexico overtops this for sure, but they're not relatable. But I would recommend four out of five, real good. So I'm gonna try the Baijiu Punch. This is Chinese Baijiu Spirit, Pina Colada Mix, the Cheese Syrup, and Sparkling Water. That's actually really good. It's like super refreshing. That's like 
You can taste the lychee in there a little bit. This is what I'm talking about when we say we like refreshing drinks. <laughs> this is great. I think I could drink like a whole gallon of this right now, honestly. I'm really gonna give this a five out of five. This is actually really good. Five out of five? I can't really, I'll be honest though, I can't taste, it's not like overpowering with like the alcohol. In that sense, it tastes like a punch, which, can that be dangerous? Yeah, <laughs> because you can just like slam this thing. Let me give this a try. Yeah, it is good. It's refreshing. I personally, people are gonna think I don't like anything. I'm not a fan of coconut, so I don't know if, maybe that's why it's not knocking my socks off, but just think of a coconut, like water almost. That's what it tastes like. You get a hint of the alcohol, but it's not overpowering. We have had recommended you drinks that are overpowering on alcohol. This is not it, super refreshing. It's good for a hot day too, and trust me, if you're coming at this time of year for food and wine, it's gonna be hot, you're gonna be sweating. So uh, I would recommend. Cheers, guys. Mini, this cute little tank. Some little strings on the side. I like the hat though. Yeah, it's cute. They Choose have, your course. They do have ears though. That is your thing. Choose your course. That's cool. It has a bunch of like different foods on there. What's your course of meal? Not spicy. Not for you or me. <laughs> they even have a spirit jersey. Food brings the world together. Agree That's cool. Yeah, but this makes me want to cry. Oh, look, it has a date too. Yeah. This makes me want to cry. Why? Because I would not wear this right now. Like, I'm dying. And oh, I'm I would wear it. No. It's, <laughs> it's, you would be dying. You'd probably pass out. So, apparently, in November, it's cold here. <laughs> so, they also have this jacket. It looks like it is naturally distressed. So, the cast member told us don't freak out. Like, it's not messed up. It's, it's the style, the end thing. It's intentionally done. <laughs> look at Mickey. Cooking it up. Chef Mickey, that is. Yeah, so if you're coming at uh, the end of the year, you gotta come and get this. We might need it, but right now, we need the fan. <laughs> they have these themed coasters too. It looks like it's a set of six, but each layer is like lettuce, the actual patties, some cheese, a tomato, and the buns. How cute is that? We're crazy about coasters at our house. It doesn't match the aesthetic, but that's cool. <laughs> So from the Alps stand, right next to the Germany stand, we got the Frosé, frozen rosé. It's so hot. I'm glad that these clouds have come, but I saw a ton of It feels of people. nice now. Now it feels nice. 20 minutes ago, not so much. But I saw people walking around with these and I was like, I got to. Like, this is, this is not a want, this is a need <laughs> at this point. So let's see how this is. This is like everything and more. What's that song? This it. is everything I ever want. <laughs> yeah, this is it. It's like instant relief from like this hot, muggy day. Uh, same thing, I could have a gallon of these and be perfectly fine. Maybe not fine. I would say I'm gonna give this probably a five out of five. I mean, it's frozen rose, so it's nothing crazy, but on a hot day, this is gonna be a need for you. <laughs> From the Germany booth, we are now going to try the Schinkel del 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 del. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this, guys. I'm sorry. What it is, is it's pasta granton with ham, onions, and cheese. This is an Emily Fromage montage item, so 
we didn't cover this, but the Emily's is basically anything with all cheeses. So all sorts of different cheeses, that's that specialty booth. And if you get five items that are an Emily item, then you will get something special from the Corksicle booth. So not sure what it is. I don't know if we're gonna meet that five because we are trying different foods aside from just cheeses. So let's see what this tastes like. I was pretty excited to try this. So I'm gonna see if it'll live up. Dang, this is good. I don't even know how to describe this. It's cheese. You like mac and cheese? Better. Dang, this is good. The only downfall is it's really hot and fresh. And usually that's a good thing, but it's so hot out here. Uh, dang, this would you is give good. It? Would you give it? I would probably give this a 5 out of 5 real good. Yeah, this is nice. I recommend getting this. Come to Germany and get the shrinkle dangle thing. <laughs> dang. This is fire. I highly recommend. Come try it. So, I think it stopped raining. So our next stop is Italy. We had to make a stop in Italy to try the lemon ricotta cheesecake. It's a cheesecake with vanilla cream and strawberry compote, so I'm pretty excited to try this, see what it tastes like. If you like cheesecake, not even if you, if you don't like cheesecake, it's still good. I would give this a 5 out of 5. It's that home run all day. Highly recommend. Come to Italy and get this cheesecake. It's fire. 5 out of 5, home run. Come get it. water bottle that way you could stick it away in your little bag backpack whatever you have but you actually can drink water and it's free here at american gardens theater they do have live entertainment come check the itinerary or you can also check on the disney app what bands and what times the performances are but this is also a cool perk. We're unfortunately not gonna be able to make it. Our flight does leave before the first showing, which I think is at 5.30. If you're gonna be here during the evening, we always highly recommend seeing the live performance. It's super fun. We stopped at the Japan booth. I'm gonna try the sake passion fruit cocktail. This was also on Disney Food Vlog's Best of the Fast So. I'm pretty excited to see what this tastes like. That's juice. Straight juice. That's really good. I feel like I would probably give it like a four out of five, but it's still really good, super refreshing. You can really taste the passion fruit in there. It's pretty passion fruit heavy, but it says it in its name. So if you like it, go for it. You'll probably love it. So I am actually gonna try the beef Wagyu. When I heard there was Wagyu, I was like, what? That's a must. It's a traditional Japanese rice bowl with American Wagyu beef over steamed white rice. This is a new item. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. This might be number one. This is good. So the meat is pretty tender. It's not dry at all. And it's like, comes in like shredded beef almost. The sauce on there makes it super good. It's extremely flavorful. I think there's a hint of the onion on there with saute, that it's sauteed in. It makes it really good. I would give this a five out of five. Home run as well. So highly recommend if you make it to Japan, get this Wagyu bowl. And with the rice, it makes it super good too, so I highly recommend. This right now would be best of the fest for me. We're not done yet, but the tosada comes in second. shelter from the rain. I'm trying the Parisian Cosmo Slush. I believe it has like Grand Marier in it, cranberry juice, and I think vodka in it too. So let's see how this is. Oh, that's good. I'm probably gonna give that a five out of five. I think this is always my favorite booth here in France, but this is really good. Five out of five, real good. I'd probably give this a home run actually. I'm gonna say this one's actually better than the flower and garden drink. I think it's better. Yeah, but it has, it has like that floral taste to it too. And we had to come inside because 
We didn't want our, our nice camera, our mic getting rained on, so we're taking a quick intermission, but in Florida it rains for like five minutes and it'll stop, I'm sure, so we'll be okay. I'm thinking positive, but this is delicious. I, I'm with Angela. I give this a home run, five out of five. Highly recommend. So we also got the creme brulee from the uh, booth in France. Creme brulee is my favorite dessert, so I'm pretty excited to see how this tastes. It's pretty good. It has some like strawberry filling at the very bottom. That threw me off at first. I was expecting plain creme brulee, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'd probably give it maybe three and a half out of five, but it's, it's pretty good. I think it's that's all right. Three and a half. Can you try it? Angela is crazy. This is fire. It gets a five out of five home run all day. She's crazy. Do not listen to her recommendation. Come and get this from France. It's fire. If you like creme brulee, you're going to love this. Come try it. Try the All right guys, so we made a stop at the Odyssey, which is the brewing lab. This thing is ran by the Muppets, so you already know it's gonna be crazy. They're gonna be mixing up some scientific concoctions and eats. We're not getting any of the wings because we're pretty full, but we had to try some drinks. Angela said that she was up for the challenge when they announced that pickle milk milkshake. So she's gonna try that. And I'm actually trying the frozen fusion. It's Twinnings pomegranate and raspberry herbal tea fused with orange ice cream molecules. So I was pretty excited to try this once I heard it and especially I seen it, but the theming is really cool. It has all this like coating and whatever kind of molecules these guys are mixing up but let's give this thing a try i'm sure it's gonna be good i don't know i'm kind of nervous you know what the muppets these guys are crazy dang it tastes like a sherbet ice cream super refreshing holy crap i'm gonna let angela try this because it's good i'm not i'm not one of those to, to hog the goodness you know you gotta you gotta spread the love we gotta tell you guys what's good to eat here at the food and wine fest so let me let her try it get her reaction on it That is really good. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I think it was me. <laughs> oh, no, this is good. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it tastes like sherbet. It's, it's good, right? It's fruity. I don't about it. Yeah, I really like this. Now I'm afraid to try my... I'd say one. five out of five. I'd probably give it a five out of five. It's refreshing. It's like a nice little... Smell. Real good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so the literal description is just a uh, pickle milkshake. So pickle milkshake. Simple as that. you gotta say pickle milkshake. <laughs> Sing this song. There goes nothing. You're gonna have to try it. I already told the people. Just need to like pump myself up for this one. Right? You gotta sing the I can do it. We've been singing it all day. But I'm only human. <laughs> I've heard it's not that bad, but I've heard it's different. Pray for me. <laughs> Hurry! Interesting. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like you can get through it, but yeah, I don't know. Like you taste a lot of the dill. That's what I've heard. Like it's dill heavy. I don't taste a ton of pickle in it. It's more of like the dill seasoning. Um, but I don't think I love that it's like thick and creamy. Uh. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I think that's what's like. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's your overall? I mean, try it. If you like pickles, I'm glad that I did try it. So it's not disgusting? It's not disgusting, but it's not like, yeah, this is, this is gonna be my go-to. <laughs> like, I want another one. No. The presentation is amazing it's on beautiful. it though. Like, it is beautiful, but I don't think I would get another one. I don't think I'm gonna finish. Would you give it a one or a two? I would probably give it like a two and a half to three. Cause like, it's not, three? it's not bad. It's not bad by any means, but it's just, it's different. 
It's very different. Wow. Do you want to try it? No. We should try it. Perfect I can't. Pickle. I'm sorry. We always have different, like... I know. I don't like pickles, period. Or dill. I think you should try it. I don't like pickle nothing. You only live once, right? You can do it. If you're not subscribed, <laughs> you have to subscribe right now We're because doing it. This, I might throw up. He pickles. doesn't even like pickles. You see what I mean? It's not bad, but it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not as bad as I thought, but it's it. It almost even has like a mint to it. I mean, yeah. if it was there, it's more like a, ugh. <laughs> it's so hard to explain. It, it, it is a pickle milkshake. So what I thought is I thought we were going to get a lot of like the milkshake, but it's more like the dill, I guess. Yeah. And it has, imagine like if you had a, a dill pickle and you put some sugar on it with like some mint. That's what it tastes <laughs> like. It's the best way to explain it. It, it, it's not good, but it's not like disgusting. I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be worse. I thought I was going to like, eh, yeah. Thing, so I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't finish it either. No. But we tried it for you we guys. So it. it looks good, but I, I wouldn't recommend getting it unless you love like dill pickle flavoring. Uh, it, it's strange. It the, the reviews that we saw said it was really strange, and it is really strange. It's not disgusting. I would say like a two and a half. It's not a one. It's not like, oh my god, but you have to have the taste palette for this is what I'll tell you guys. So I don't recommend unless you love dill pickle, then you'll probably like it. So give it a try if you want or if you dare. But I tried this for you guys. I was pretty scared. I don't like pickles. So please hit the subscribe button, drop a like, <laughs> and leave a comment. That's a fair ask, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, guys, so we did the pickle milkshake. We did all the good eats, the good drinks. We didn't get any wine, but I will say there was some really good stuff here. Obviously, we didn't get everything. We're just not capable of eating so much, but I will tell you, we had an amazing time at the Food and Wine Fest. I highly recommend coming if you can. It does go through November. But with that being said, guys, if you found this entertaining, helpful, or you got a laugh, I don't know, Drop a like, leave a comment. Let us know if you came and try that big pickle milkshake. If you tried it, let me know what you think. And aside from that, guys, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, what can I say except you're welcome? See you on the next one.